Hey guys, welcome to my class on libido and everything uh, that you want to know regarding your sexual health, hormones, intimacy, anything essential oil related between the sheets. Um, this class is inspired by Lucy Libido. Lucy Libido is a woman, basically she trademarked herself as Lucy Libido. And she came out with this book um, probably about a year or so ago now. And she's pretty famous in the essential oil community um, because before her, no one really talked about essential oils regarding everything that I just said. So there wasn't really any literature or tips regarding all this stuff. So she did her own research and came up with her own recipes and she came up with this awesome book. So this is my inspiration for this class. I'm actually going to be following along um, loosely with one of the scripts that she's provided. Um, and we're going to talk about essential oils and everything regarding your libido and your sex life and your hormones and ailments that you or your significant other might be dealing with. Um, so basically, the first thing that I want to do regarding um, before we get into the breakdown of his and her oils and specific recipes is talk about why we are going to be using Young Living Oils and no, nothing else and why we, or basically how to use aphrodisiac oils. So I'm going to talk about how to use them like aromatically, topically and ingesting them, which are the three ways that you can use all essential oils. Um, so in her little book, she talks about how um, Young Living is different than any other essential oil, any other company or any other essential oil that you might see at Target or at Whole Foods or any other, um, they're pretty popular, so anywhere. But uh, in her book, Lucy explains that quality matters. And, and it, um, in any essential oil application, but especially when you're talking about intimacy application, because it is especially imperative that you understand the importance of the true seed to seal process. And Young Living has this process, which is um, trademarked as seed to seal. And if you don't know what that means, that is a whole nother topic that we could discuss. So just go online and go to seed to seal.com and you can learn about what that means and what, um, why Young Living um, is just like the gold standard in essential oils. So um, let's talk real quick about where to get and how to use your oils. So I know that you must be super excited to find out that find out like what the best oils are for both him and her, but I want to make sure that you're using them safely. So we're going to talk about how therapeutic grade essential oils are very, very potent. So for example, um, this little bottle of lavender right here um, that Young Living has, this is like the 15 ml, it will take 150 pounds of lavender blossoms to make one pound of pure therapeutic grade lavender oil. And that's just an example of what I want to represent as the difference between Young Living and other companies because other companies cut the maybe their bottle of lavender with lavendine, which is a hybrid plant that is similar to lavender, um, but it's a lot cheaper. And other company oil, other companies' oils are pre-diluted with a carrier oil. Um, what a carrier oil is like a uh, coconut oil or like what I use is their V6 vegetable oil blend. Basically, it's a dilutant. Um, and those are pre-diluted. They're not 100%. And there's also a lot of synthetics in other companies' um, or they're cut with um, like alcohol solvents and stuff. So not good for application in your lady parts or just in general, um, especially also if you're talking about ingesting them. So um, also a true essential oil is the lifeblood of the plant. And other companies are, if they alter that or if the oil is not extracted the appropriate way, then the organic compounds of that oil of that plant are all messed up and they're not going to have that same effect on your body that they're supposed to. Um, so that's another reason why I trust in Young Living and absolutely adore their essential oils and that's why I do what I do. So um, we also want to talk about how um, she also talks about in her book, she says, personally, I use, I only use therapeutic grade oils that are grown, distilled, tested, and sealed with a seed to seal guarantee. So everything I was just saying. She goes on to say, I'm not sponsored to say this. It's just what I trust. So that's 
same thing here. I'm not sponsored or anything. I am a distributor of Young Living because of my personal experiences and it's because what I trust. And I'm a nurse and I am only going to recommend what I believe is the healthiest for your family. I'm only going to educate you on the things that I believe are the safest for you and your family. Um, so Young Living is the only company that farms and distills their own oils themselves. Unlike every other brand, they're not, there's no middleman. So the, the middleman who buys from other sources to then rebottle and rebrand and then resell. So Young Living is straight from the source. Um, I like knowing that they own and also co-op their farms. So they grow their flowers, plants, and trees, also pesticide-free, and hand-pick their, all of those um, organic flowers, plants, and trees. So they test with higher standards also than any other company, and then they ship straight from the farm to your door. So um, this is pretty awesome. I, I really, really um, just, I, could, I can't speak any higher for their proprietary process that um, they, um, hi, they, 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 I can't talk that they keep so highly, um, they talk so highly about, that they just, they just are so, so passionate about being safe and giving you the best product that they will sacrifice, um, like, I remember they, like, sacrificed millions of dollars, um, last year because, um, one of the plants wasn't harvesting like they thought, so they just kept the product out of stock for almost a year, and it was one of their most popular sought-after oils, and they literally lost millions of dollars in sales, but they were not going to sacrifice their standards just because, just to make a profit, and I feel like that says a lot about a company. Um, so this kind of goes into detail about that seed-to-seal process. So um, there is an abundance of chemical laden chemicals that are labeled as pure. That's another thing. So just like other, um, like when organic was getting super popular, I remember when I was growing up when it, the big thing was organic foods, everything's organic. So people would just start labeling um, packaging organic, but it really wasn't organic. It's the same type of thing. So companies can put pure and therapeutic grade on their oils, but it's really, that really doesn't mean anything. It doesn't hold any weight in the essential oil community. So it's, it's hard to trust, um, other companies. So adulterating oils with unlabeled carrier oils and synthetic additives is almost the norm actually among these cheaper brands. So you will not get the constant, um, you won't get those benefits like we talked about of those oils, such as like cypress or grapefruit when using a cut rate oil, it, you just won't. So so it talks about um, how Lucy says she and her friends are not responsible if you get sick from ingesting a synthetic oil. And we will wave the whole I told you so finger if you break out in a rash after putting cheap oils with hidden alcohol solvents near your later bits and I, lady bits. And believe me when I say that this has happened and it will definitely not improve your libido. So. That is kind of a little bit of background on why it is important to use Young Living's essential oils and what their seed to seal process kind of means and why it is so, so important. So I also promise that I'm going to talk about the three ways that you can use essential oils, aromatically, uh, topically, and you can also use them to, and you can ingest them. So she goes on to say, Young Living oils can be used aromatically. Essential oils can be can have a profound effect on your mood, and they are unique in the way that they get past the whole thinking brain and impact your feeling brain. Um, if you have a starter kit, which most of you guys on here should, you got an awesome diffuser with that. So yay, use that bad boy to your advantage. So um, I have my little diffuser going right here that you guys can't see. But when you have that on, it affects everyone in the room. It affects everyone in your family. So um, even if your significant other doesn't want to put essential oils on their body, you just put that diffuser on and they're going to start getting those benefits um, without even really knowing it. Um, but there are several mood enhancing recipes that she also talks about. And I've also gone into a couple of those diffuser recipes and I'm going to post some more about it. She has a bunch in her book that I'm going to share. Second, Young Living oils can be used topically. Oils can be placed on the VitaFlex points, so on your wrist, um, the VitaFlex points on your feet, back of your neck, spine, your forearms, all different places. 
but she also talks about the inner thigh potions and those are her potions that are blended like a little roller or a little serum and they go on the inner thigh from your knee crease up to your lady parts um, and then from your navel down to your pelvic area. Um, she talks about applying them from the inner mid thigh to the leg crease and two inches um, below the navel. So always dilute oils when using them for the first time and spot tests also for sensitive areas. So I am not sensitive to them. Um, I don't, um, my skin is just, I just don't break out usually. There's like one or two maybe that might cause me some irritation, but some people really do um, have irritation when it comes to essential oils. So just make sure that you test them and then dilute them with a the carrier oil like we talked about if they do cause you sensitivity. But most people, most people they don't, they don't bother them. But just, just to make sure. So the third way that you can use essential oils and even when it comes to talking about aphrodisiac oils is ingesting them. And in Young Living has a process um, or has a line that they call Vitality. So this is the white label. It's called their Vitality line. But I just want to tell you that this is the same oil. So this orange oil and this orange oil, they're the exact same oil. Young Living doesn't have all their oils that you can ingest safely as um, a white label in their Vitality. It's all has to do with FDA and everything, but um, but if you are worried about ingesting oils, just make sure that maybe then if you, to make you feel more comfortable, start with the ones in their Vitality line, and those are all safe to ingest, put in little vegetable capsules, or um, cook with, or put in your water, all that kind of stuff. But then when you go to reorder an oil, like you wanna get more orange, and you want a big bottle of orange, and this big bottle of orange isn't labeled like this, it's okay. It's the same oil, so just don't get confused by that. All right, so that is the kind of 101 down and dirty basics. I am going to post some more videos after this talking about more regarding his and her oils and some more recipes. All right, see you soon.